Great. Welcome to another part of the core trust seal requirements video series. In this series, we talk you through the new core trust seal requirements for the period of 2023 to 2025. You will learn about the details of each requirement, the evidence expected from applicants, extended guidance, and the changes compared to the previous versions of the requirements. This video covers requirement number seven. My name is Raina Jenkins. I am the data stewardship manager at Ocean Networks Canada and have been serving on the Core Trust Seal board for the last few years. Requirement number seven covers provenance and authenticity. The repository guarantees the authenticity of the digital objects and provides provenance information. So what does this mean? This means that the repository should provide evidence to show that it operates a data and metadata management system that maintains provenance information to ensure authenticity from deposit through curation and preservation all the way to the point of access. Any intentional changes to the data and metadata should always be documented, including the rationale and the originator of the change. Authenticity covers reliability and provenance, including the relationship between the deposited digital objects and those provided at the point of access. In short, are you keeping a credible paper trail of all the changes to the metadata and data, and do you keep a record as to why a particular change was made? In terms of evidence, uh, expectations in the response could include things like um, whether the repository has an approach to changing and versioning data and metadata and how that approach um, and records of change are communicated to the data depositor to depositors and to the users. The provenance information audit trails recorded for data and metadata processing and versioning, an explanation of how the repository compares the essential properties of different versions of the same file, and what kind of identification checks are in place for depositors. Just to give you an idea of some kinds of statements that might appear in those responses um, and what could be considered a, a good or, or not so good statement. Um, on the not so good side, um, it was leaving it totally up to the depositor to make sure that they keep um, sort of a manual record of the changes. Um, so yes, that does allow for some provenance, but doesn't give any um, uh, enforcing uh, and credence really to whether or not all those changes are really tracked. So um, better statements might be something like, uh, a relational database maintains a timestamped record of metadata changes, including which staff member applied that change based on their account login, or the data manipulation software used to transform data is saved in a code repository with versioning history. A record of when these routines are applied to a given data set is retained, or Automated testing ensures that consistent results of a particular data query returns the same product over time with any discrepancies investigated and rectified or justified as deemed appropriate. So these all allow for making sure that the results um, are consistent and, um, and also give a proper paper trail of changes made to the metadata or the data and, and hopefully why they were taken. So what are the differences between the previous uh, requirements in 2020, 2020 to 2022 and this new requirements? Well, if we look at the first statement, it was called data integrity and authenticity, and now we're calling it provenance and authenticity. So this change focuses the requirement on measures to plan, and ch plan change. It was clear from previous applications that the topic of integrity was usually addressed primarily in terms of the technical requirements. So the integrity measures are now addressed alongside storage in the technical and security section. So this concludes the instruction on requirement seven of the new core trust seal requirements. Similar instruction videos can be found in all the other requirements on the core trust seal YouTube channel. You can find the full set of new requirements for the period 2023 to 2025 on the Core Trust Seal website.